Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Success Engineering. Today we are going to learn how to place the ceiling diffuser on the in, uh, as actual practice. So let's uh, let us start now. Before I start this video, I would like to request you to please uh, see my full video and uh, like and subscribe my video and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of my upcoming video so as you see this uh, first of all uh, to place the diffuser we need uh, to know the air flow for each space so that has been calculated by using E20 or app load calculation so I have already made video for this uh, this space for this uh, project if you have still not seen my uh, seen that video I will give the link for that video in the description of this you can see and look for the that video and, and you learn how to calculate the load calculation first then you can know the size of the diffuser and how to place the diffuser so you see here I have calculated already and generated the report for this space see the master bedroom and master bedroom 2 storage room and dining hall you can see here this load calculation if you see this project from office building and prepared by success engineering zone sizing summary for ground floor and this zone 1 there are 4 zone 4 spaces dining hall master bedroom 1 2 and storage you can see here this uh, airflow in CFM for each space so I have to put there this airflow in each space first so master bedroom 1 you see here master bedroom 1 1881 CFM you simply put double click this tag and put it here 1881 and uh, for master bedroom 2 1430 cfm so double click this text to edit simply type here storage room you can see here 1817 cfm simply double click to edit type add cfm then dining hall you can see here 2336 cfm. You simply double click this to edit 2337 cfm. Now you, uh, you decide, uh, you divide this airflow, and first of all, you decide how much airflow you are going, how much a diffuser you are going to place in this space first of all you have to decide this so I'm going to place uh, two supply and two return so divide this uh, total CFM into two for two diffuser so 1881 divided by 2 and I need and 5 CFM so simply draw one vertical line with type XL V you click here then one horizontal line construction line horizontal click click here then from this wall how much distance it should be so you see here the distance uh, in the X axis the distance from the wall is total length divided by number of diffuser into 2 the distance from the wall from this wall total length is 18 feet so total length
length is 18 feet divided by number of diffuser number of diffuser in this side is 2 and into 2 so 18 divided by 4 2 into 2 4 so 4.5 feet simply move this line 4.5 feet type M specify the distance 4.5 feet ok then distance between diffuser is you can see here distance between diffuser is distance from the wall into 2 so distance from the wall how much you are getting 4.5 into 2 so 9 feet Simply copy this line, offset this line 9 feet. From this wall, you also get 4.5. Same, see this space and this space is equal. Also, from this side, this uh, the y axis distance from the wall is total length divided by number of diffuser into 2. So in this axis you can see this total length is 20 and number of diffuser is also 2 into 2 here this 20 divided by 2 into 2 4 5 feet so move this line 5 feet simply provide the distance from the wall 5 feet and then distance between diffuser is distance from the wall into 2 so this is the distance from wall is 5 feet into 2 so total is 10 feet so simply offset so specify the distance as 10 feet click and offset so you can see this you, you get this 4 point so simply draw this supply diffuser first I have created already layer the same dot supply second diffuser so we supply diffuser uh, CFM each is each supply diffuser CFM is 940 CFM so how to calculate the area so to calculate the area you know Q is equal to A into B simply type here copy this text copy this text here As per the continuity equation, we you know Q is equal to A into V. So V is the velocity of velocity of diffusion is taken generally 500 feet per minute, 500 feet per minute, and we know Q is equal to 940.5 cfm. We can calculate simply area Q is equal to A into V from this equation this A is equal to Q divided by V is equal to Q is how much 940.5 940.5 divided by 500 so equal to simply divide this 940.5 divided by 500 1.8 square feet 1.8 square feet EFT. So this is the free area from here you can see this this note you can see this free area 
so face area will be free area into 25 percent extra so face area will be face area equal to free area into 25 percent free area plus 25 percent free area The face area will be area is equal to free area 1.8 into 1.25 it will be we multiply to 1.25 2.35 square root square root we simply convert this into a square inch we simply multiply this 2.35 into 1 inch is 12 uh, 1 feet 1 feet is equal to 12 inch so 12 into 12 12 into 12 144 it will be 2.35 into 144 equal to 3 multiply into 144 you are getting 338 square inch 338 square inch 338 inch square inch square so simply make a root of this just to get in the inches size square size so go to this standard scientific calculator simply click 338 square root Three three eight. Three three eight. Square root you can see. Three three eight. Square root 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 three three eight. scientific calculator let us check how to make the root three three eight fourteen inch Twenty-four into twenty-four. Check eighteen by eighteen. Three twenty-four. Three three eight. Three three eight. Now see, this is the actually this is the square root. So 18.38 I am getting so simply go for the 18 inch 18 inch by 18 inch nearest value 
so your uh, diffuser size will be 18 inch by 18 inch okay so I already get this diffuser size supply and return diffuser is also the same so simply type here supply ceiling diffuser supply ceiling diffuser and SCD and RCD is equal to 18 inch by 18 inch ok so simply draw this two diffuser supply and return ceiling diffuser so make this current layer simply type REC rectangle specify the dimension 18 inch by 18 inch so simply offset this move little bit side okay and offset this offset one inch inside with multiple multiple type m okay simply draw one line corner to this corner and from this corner to this corner take the letter line L E ok simply mirror this like this remove one inch simply array this letter so type AR or array command simply select this and uh, polar array then select the center point of array type i number of item is 4 so you can see so i have already made this supply ceiling diffuser and simply copy this simply copy this and delete this erase this and erase one line simply create return layer return ceiling diffuser layer type la then type m dot rcd return ceiling diffuser change the color make it red then close this simply select this go and change the layer so you can see this is the return ceiling diffuser Take the leader with the current layer type LE you move this 25 1 inch, sorry, one inch and array this type ER polar array center of array number of item 4 now make the block to make this item in the block so simply select this and uh, simply press ctrl shift c then specify the base point so my base point is the center point and then press ctrl shift v just to make this block so you see block if this is not block if you uh, if this is not block so if you select this one line it is selected this block item C selected on so simply erase this okay also make block for this simply select press control shift C enter point and then control shift B copy this and press C O select this item enter point copy and put it here and one item one put place here okay. 
simply copy and again this return cell in the future place here in this row this point and this point okay now you can see it is this item it is this guy you can see I have placed this diffuser in this room in the same way you have to place here this room also so again take uh, divide this this size is 18 and 17 so the uh, size of the diffuser will be same you simply type XL horizontal then excel vertical then uh, distance from the wall is total length divided by number of diffuser into 2 so total length is 9 feet in this y axis total length divided by number of diffuser 2 into 2 4 so total length divided by number of diffuser 2 into 2 so 4 2.25 simply move this 2 inch move this 2 feet 2 feet okay then uh, distance between diffuser is distance from the wall into 2 so simply multiply into 2 so 4.5 inch offset 4.5 inch 4.5 feet close with this type excel already have the vertical line so from this uh, distance is you see 18 so total length is 18 distance from this wall in horizontal axis 18 divided by 4 4.5 simply move this Set is 9 feet. So, this is the point for diffuser. <coughs> Simply copy this, place here, and supply here, and return diffuser copy, place here, and place here erase this line select erase <coughs> what you will do simply move this text outside okay and So this text option okay you can see I have placed for this master bedroom 2 total CFM is 1420 1423 also 2 so 1423 divided by I want to place 2 divisors so 2 708 708 11 each diffuser QIP divided by 500 1.4 into 144 to 204 simply a square root of this so you are getting 14 inch by 14 inch for this so simply copy this CEO S I 
take this current integer let to erase this so let simply draw 14 inch by 14 inch the user so rec t 14 inch by 14 inch play offset 1 inch select multiple type m simply click multiple times draw on line then draw the leader line type le move one inch simply array this type er select polar array then center point number of item is four Simply block this control shift C vector point control shift V simply put the text here. CD to simply 14 inch by 14 inch. 14 inch, 14 inch. To simply 14 inch by 14 inch. this text put this side copy this text please supply ceiling diffuser and return ceiling diffuser 18 inch by 18 inch So this one apply ceiling diffusion and return ceiling diffusion for the What you will do simply copy this and just explore this select and explode. this current layer then draw the leader line mirror this type mi and remove then array this layer polar array center point number of item 4 ok quickly block this select control shift c then control shift v Okay, to simply copy this. Calculate the distance from the wall. So from this axis 12 inch 12 divided by 4 number of diffuser into 2. So 3 feet simply draw one line XL. Then again XL over here. Move 
this name to be okay. Object into two six feet. So offset offset six feet. And this side is a twenty feet. So twenty divided by four five feet move this one five feet offset five into two ten feet so type ten feet this text outside simply place that if you select Move this one. You can select the center point. Place it here. Simply copy this. Oh, sorry. And then select this and move to this point. To this point. Okay. Then copy. Type C O. Then center point. Place one here. Okay. Now copy this return cell in the user. C O. From this. The center point and simply place it here. Okay. Here. Now simply select this, select this construction line and erase it. Okay. Now you can see we have placed this diffuser in this uh, master bedroom too. Now for the dining, dining all the total CFM is 200. 2337 2337 divided by I want to place 4 again in this uh, dining hall so divided by so sorry 2 supply to 2 return so divided by 2 so 1168 Q then divided by 500 V so I am getting 2.3 square feet so into 144 square inch and the under root so I am getting 18 inch again so 18 inch I, I have already made here so simply calculate the distance from the wall and, and distance between diffusion so simply type XL draw the construction line vertical as well as horizontal so in this axis you see you check this distance DLI. I think this is the 17 feet from this side. So 17 divided by 17 divided by 4 4 feet. Move this one 4 feet and offset into 2. We are getting 8.5, so 8 only. Offset is 8 feet and again this side is 27 so 27 divided by 4 I am getting 6.7 so 7 only so if we move this structure line this side 7 feet and offset 7 into 2 14 can see here now simply copy this 18 inch diffuser supplying it and simply copy from here copy the center and place it here one here and uh, one here okay. now copy this return cell diffuser with the center place it this point and one is this part simply select this construction line and erase it okay now you can see i have placed this all diffuser supply and return diffuser in which space so in, the, in my next tutorial we will see how to draw the single line drawing for 
course on the line for this uh, diffuser and uh, how to place this uh, machine ductable uh, AC unit you will see in the next tutorial so I hope you learn uh, something from this video so please like like my video and share and comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel we are, I am, I am, we are stopping here and I thank you for watching my video please keep watching my video I will uh, give the description of load calculation in, I will give the link uh, for the load calculation in this description for this video so you will go and watch uh, how to calculate the load then you can only reset the size of C return and supply cylinder diffuser and you can place so Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for